Tonight, good news for seven American families. Their loved ones who were imprisoned in Venezuela were released today. Now, this includes five of the remaining Citgo executives from Houston who had been held for nearly five years. Anieli Ruiz joins us now with the latest. And Anieli, what did the U.S. have to give in exchange for their release? Well, Cheryl, the U.S. had to trade in two nephews of President Nicolás Maduro's wife. They were here in the U.S. being charged with drug smuggling. This is being called the largest trade in the Biden administration. All of the men known as the Sitco Six are finally released. These American workers had been arrested in 2017 while they were attending a meeting in Venezuela. Well, they were lured in for a um, conference of the parent company of Citco, which is the state oil company in Venezuela, and they were detained in the middle of the conference. They were accused of embezzlement and sentenced by the Venezuelan courts. But back in March, the Venezuelan government released one of them, Gustavo Cárdenas. And Saturday, the Biden administration said the five others were released along with two other men, a U.S. Marine corporal and a Florida man. Five from Citco have uh been held for a number of years so it's a it's a very big deal it's a country the united states how shall i say doesn't have the best relations with it's a particular concern about about the safety university of, of houston political science professor eduardo aleman tells us according to a recent report by the united nations the conditions they were in were very harsh violations to their human rights in venezuelan jails there's widespread uh, torture and violence against detainees Perhaps that, that would put into context perhaps why the urgency of trying to free Americans detained in Venezuela. And experts say this might be a chance to help start and rebuild some kind of relation between the two countries. I don't think it's ever a bad idea to be able to talk to another country, even if you have a lot of issues at stake. We did reach out to the other man that was released earlier this year. He did not want to speak on camera, but his family did tell us he's happy his other comrades were released and hopes to be reunited with them soon. There are other Americans still detained in Venezuela. Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. For long years. Great news for those families. Thank you so much, Anayeli.